my name is Chris Starr, and I'm from the Wild Cornell Medical Center. And with me today is my good friend, uh, colleague, Nate Radcliffe, uh, also from the Wild Cornell Medical Center. Uh, Nate, you're a, a recognized uh, expert in this arena uh, and uh, as it uh, uh, pertains to glaucoma and IOP measuring, uh, and you've done a lot of work. So for, for starters, uh, there are a lot of people out there who have heard the word hysteresis, uh, but may not actually know what that means. Can you explain what hysteresis is? Corneal hysteresis is a so-called corneal biomechanical property. It's actually a corneal behavior, and it describes the way that the cornea responds right. to a jet of air uh, that is applied to it uh, during applanation tonometry. As the story goes, when Reichert, uh, who um, produces the only device to measure corneal hysteresis, was first measuring intraocular pressure, with applanation from an air jet, they noticed that the cornea dented in at one pressure and rebounded at another. Mm -hmm. And they actually wanted to ignore that difference between those two pressures, which is actually what we now know as corneal hysteresis. Uh, but through some early work, they realized that corneal hysteresis may describe these biomechanical properties. Uh, the term I like to use is uh, the viscous dampening, mm -hmm. which in, in my mind, not the mind of an engineer, but the mind of a clinician, describes how much energy a given cornea can absorb uh, when that jet of air is applied to it. 